Well, hello. Um, basically, I had a pen stuck. It, I had a pen in my mouth. It does look like I feel a. Well, you know when you're sick and you have to take a thermometer. Well, I'm not. Anyway, I just had a pen in my mouth like that. Ooh, I know. I have a habit of chewing pen lids and things like that. I know. I know. I know. Anyway, enough about that because um, this blog is going to be another tech blog, although it's uh, more or less something that I know a little bit about, but always looking for the best ones in cheapness and that is earphones and headphones yes i know what we're all thinking hmm that's very interesting well it might be to me because i go through many earphones and headphones but basically i always like to go for good quality ones but i don't like paying a lot for them i really don't don't get me wrong it's not because I'm skin or I'm a, I'm a skin flint or anything like that. It's because basically, um, I always get worried that if you buy a pair of headphones that might cost you, say, 50, 60 odd quid, are they really worth it? Are they worth it for the fact that they don't give you the, the superior sound that basically um, expected? Now, I'm a bit picky sometimes when it comes to headphones because basically I like to have certain ones and specifically earphones. When I use my iPod, and that is specifically when I use my iPod, I only really like using the iPod earphones. Now, sadly, iPod have changed their earphones over the years and the ones that they use now are a little bit different. They do AirPods and goodness knows what. And basically, you can buy some for about hundred pound, something like that. But they do a lot of um, they've changed sort of like their uh, model. I'm not quite sure. I don't think I see them very widely. The original iPod earphones, because they're the ones that I normally are used to having. Now they have changed design a little bit over the years, but. Basically, they're the normal ones that I use. At the moment, I've got these, which are basically original iPod earphones, which I like. They still work, but I like them, basically. And they're the sort of ones that I like to wear when I use an iPod, which gets harder and harder because finding them on the internet is not easy. Specifically, when you are looking for genuine earphones, because, sadly... You do get a lot of fakes out there. Now, it happens because a lot of times you'll think you go on eBay and Amazon or whatever and find these earphones that look like genuine Apple earphones. Some people actually write in the description, genuine Apple earphones, but you kind of think, yeah, there's a con here because surely the price would give the game away. You think, oh, they're cheap. They're only costing like four pound and you think hmm they are cheap that's why they're not they're not real because when you buy them you get to that stage when you buy them and you think they were cheap you have them and about five weeks later they die they're no good where it's sort of like it only comes out of one ear useless the original apple ipod earphones used to retail for about £25 so I used to basically buy them and hope that they lasted quite well um when I'm at home I suppose when I'm on my laptop or something I'm not fussed usually I would have either these in Apple iPod ones that I've got or sometimes I might have Sony or Samsung earphone which are almost like the Apple ones which I don't mind that go in there and they're good if they've got a good sound they're good or i use over the here over the ear ones i've got i think a pair of forest ones nottingham forest that i bought from a club shop but i don't think they work now so sadly i can't use them and i've also had a pair where they go with a mic so that i could use them for when i do video calls on skype and it goes into a usb port well not too bad they were right, but one of the but one of the things that will that I always think about when it comes to um, 
earphones and headphones is how do I know I'm going to get a good set with good sound? Well, easy. When people around me can actually hear what I'm listening to. Because if people know me, when I go on the bus, I normally have my music up loud. Full blast, basically. I know it's not good to do that, but I always do. And I guess for me, I do that because I want to be able to hear the music. Because I know sometimes you can have earphones and headphones where when you listen to music, and music has gone on your iPod, but you can't hardly hear it. Because what's the point in going out, listening to music on your iPod, and realising that you can't hardly hear it because, A, you're hearing things around you. If you're on a bus, let's say you put your iPod up full blast, and you've got your earphones on or headphones, and the music coming out of the iPod might not be great sounding, or basically because of the earphones or headphones. It might be that you can't hardly hear the music. You can hear it a little bit, but with the basic that if you're standing, say, at, at the road, waiting to cross over the road, there could be traffic coming by, which you hear more of than the music. The same as if you're on the bus. You can be on the bus and you can probably hear people's conversations more than you can your own music, and that's not what I want. I want to be able to hear the music. So usually I like a good pair of earphones that will do that, or particularly headphones. Usually I do wear headphones though when I'm, when I'm out. Not really headphones. I don't like to be sitting there with big headphones like this on there. I wouldn't buy headphones that were like under a pound or something like that. You get beats ones, but I don't think they're worthy of the money. So certainly what I like to do is buy Apple ones if possible, genuine ones, or maybe Sony or um, Samsung. Which I like these earphones, and I do them. And I, and I like to have at least a spare pair in case one do actually um, break. Because what I don't like is being at home or being out and they break where I can't use them anymore and I haven't got a spare pair to use. I would go mad. Literally, I would go mad because I can't go anywhere without my iPod. So usually I like to have a spare pair. Um, preferably I have about three or four, three or four pairs of earphones or say two pairs of earphones or three pairs of earphones and a set of headphones and what I would normally do is I'd have a spare pair for if I need them when I'm out and then I have like ones for when I'm on the laptop so I could use these when I'm on the laptop and then my other pair can be for when I'm on going out for my iPod only that's what I like to do and as I said I know how good the sound will be if I can hear if other people can hear the music around me. I'm not saying that to hear it very, very clearly, but predominantly I've had that in the past. I think what's happened in the past is that iPods have changed a little bit by their sound has got a little bit lower. It's not always the head, it's not always the earphones, but more like the iPod. Because on my original iPod that I used to have, the very first one that I bought. The sound was absolutely fantastic. And with my earphones, it was good. But I always knew that if I had a good set of earphones, it was because people around me could hear the music. I could go on the bus. I could sit upstairs. I could have my music on. And somebody might be thinking, oh, I could hear his music. He must have it turned up loud. Or literally, the, headphone, the earphones might be very good. That they give out a good sound. And they can hear the music. And I remember at some point, people would be singing along to what I'm playing to listen to. I'm on the bus and there's me playing, say, a load of songs from, say, the 60s. Monkeys come on, Daydream Believer. And there's people sitting right in front of me. It was like they're singing along to, my, to the song that I'm basically playing on my iPod because they can hear it. And lastly, but not least, when it comes to earphones and headphones, is that I also want to buy a, a, a pair for the radio. Partly because it's been discussed that having a good set of radio headphones would be brilliant. And they would be used only for the radio. So when I go and do my radio show, I could take my own set of headphones without using the station ones. Because I know that basically I use them all the time. But I could buy my own set of, say, headphones for the radio and use them. My friend Mark, who does a radio show, he's got his own pair. It's been suggested that I should get a pair and then I would use them on the radio basically and bring them home. So they would only be used for the radio. But at the moment, while I'm looking around to see what they are, I don't really know what the best ones are. So 
if anyone's got any suggestions on what best headphones to buy for the radio, then let me know. But they've got to really be broadcastable sort of radio type headphones. I don't want you just coming along saying buy a pair of Beats headphones or buy a pair of say these headphones just for the sake of it when they're not really radio type. Some are different. But anyway, I'll leave it there because there's not much more I can say about about that. I'm sure you've all got your own ideas of what the best earphones and headphones are out there, but I just know that I'm a bit, I'm a bit picky on them. I like to have certain ones, original ones, and then basically I know that I've got good ones for when I go out and listen to music. But apart from that, I'll leave it there. I've got more blogs to upload, more blogs to record later on when I think of new ideas, but I should get all the other blogs done first and uploaded basically. So until then, bye for now.